it's seven past eight now and the sun is going down it'll get dark within a few minutes what an ex what an amazing experience I've had so far um, in the last couple of hours I've photographed a beautiful fly I've photographed a praying mantis um, a beautiful praying mantis a, a, a big praying mantis and I was just reflecting on the fact that only yesterday when I woke up and went through to the lounge there were about a, a, a dozen baby praying mantises on the wall that had just emerged they were maybe one or two hours old so rather than kill them like a lot of people would I put every single one of them outside to give them a chance and I found there the Athuka, Uthika, uh, behind the uh, a, a painting that's on the wall and the Athuka is like an egg case and inside is about a dozen eggs laid. So an adult praying mantis must have come in and laid the Uthika uh, without me knowing about it and all these babies hatched. And so there's a sort of karma, you know, I released 12 baby uh, playing mantises and tonight I got to photograph another one. But the most amazing thing was, you know, I'm sitting on a rock right now with the tent just over here and I've been sitting here for a few hours and I was in the tent and I came out and what I saw shocked me uh, because there was a hole in the ground just next to the rock here and all these bulldog ants were swarming out of it um, and of course putting the tent next to a nest of bulldog ants is a bit scary because they tend to bite but um, what I saw was amazing there were maybe maybe slightly less than 50% of them had wings and flew off um, and when I looked down on the ground, there was they were swarming everywhere. And I thought, here we go, I've put my tent right next to a nest of these ants. But as I watched them, not one of them came near me, not one of them attacked me. And these, these ants have, bulldog ants have very good eyesight. They can see at least a meter, maybe two meters. And, and if you've ever observed them properly, they actually will see you. They will, you know, they will defend defend the nest but based on their eyesight they can they can see you very well but not one of these ants attacked me not one of these ants came near me and as I watched them all the ones that hadn't flown off went back into the nest again there were there's still a few here and there looking around foraging I guess but what an amazing thing so now I can go back to to, to, to home get on the internet and research this because I know that when a queen ant or, or any any of the animals that belong to Hymenoptera when they want to spread the nest or move on the, they, the, the um, fertile queens or the fertile ones go off to spread and form new nests but to see these ants on dusk fly off winged ants quite quite amazing so I need to research that and, and find out what the story is but what an amazing place. This is nature. I'm absolutely in heaven. You know, when I'm in the city, when I'm near people, I stress. I feel pressured. I don't feel, never feel happy. Not really happy, you know, deep down. And I come out here and I'm with plants that I love, with animals that I love. I just love nature. It's where I belong, you know? I'm part of this. I'm part of this. I'm home. I look at grass and I feel love for it. I feel, I look at trees and I feel love for them. And I see everything. It's nature. It's, it's what, that connection is what human beings, most human beings have lost. There's no respect. You know, if a mosquito, like the one that's just landed on my arm, if she wants to suck my blood, I'm happy for her to do that. I'm more than happy for her. I'm honoured. I'm honoured that she can have, you know, and I don't kill them. I don't swat them off. 
I watch them, I photograph them, and I'm happy, you know? And by the by, they, they don't annoy me anyway. It's like we have this sort of synergy, this, this understanding. And I don't want to kill anything or anyone, any of these creatures or any of these plants. Just respect, man, just respect. And being in this beautiful place, you know, get away from people. People are the, are the threat. People are the, the bad elements of life. But get around with these trees and nature. It's just the most phenomenal place. And we're so lucky in Sydney, even in a shithole of a city, you can get into a car and you can drive for a few minutes and escape and walk a bit, sweat a bit, and you're away from it all. I've seen one person all the time I've been here. He walked in the same way as I did and he went all the way back through the camping ground and, well, it's not the camping ground, it's a campsite, <clears throat> and walked out the other way and then he said, I'll, I'll be back. And sure enough, a couple of hours later, he's come back and we had a bit of a chat and um, he's walking all the way out, all the way that I came in. I mean, it's going to be dark by the time he gets out. But he was fit. I mean, this bloke was jogging too. But, you know, he's the only person I've seen since I've been in here. And, uh, yeah, nobody else. It's just me, the tent, the remains of the chair. And that chair is so nice. Even though it's warm, it's just, it's just, I can't put, my, put, put it into words what that beer is. And the mosquitoes just set and settled on my thumb and she's, She's sucking my blood and they don't bite by the way mosquitoes they don't have biting mouth parts they pierce the skin and they suck but they do not bite and i can feel she's pushed her proboscis in my skin and she's going to have a swollen belly with my blood and i'm honored tonight to give her a feed okay on that note i'm going to start to uh get my stuff together just finishing off my chair here it is in here my in my camping gear as a bowl serves as a cup i've got all this stuff on temu and eBay and stuff it's just brilliant it's, everything is working well but chair sure, man beer is an amazing stuff beer is is the nectar of the gods and when you've got a good beer like this and you're in, a, in paradise like this. Life doesn't get any better. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, watch my mosquito friend and uh, wish everybody a pleasant evening. <laughs>